Hello everybody, in this video I'll be showing you guys how to use the AI text invoice generation toolkit in your Unity projects. This video is specifically going to be covering how to use the speech to text component. First thing you're going to need to do is set up Azure Speech. If you guys do not have that set up, then I have a video on it and the link will be in the description. So guys, once you guys have that done, you guys are going to need to create a new scene, or at least I'm going to create a new scene here. I'm going to name it Speech to Text. And I'm going to open it up and I'm going to create a new game object. I'm going to call this speech to text manager. And now I'm going to reset its transform. And I'm going to add a component. And this is going to be Azure speech to text. Just like that. And then I'm going to now... Um, Create a new C sharp script. I'm going to call it speech to text manager. And uh, I'm going to open it up in Visual Studios here and reload it. I'm going to go ahead and minimize this. I'm going to go drag and drop my speech to text manager onto my speech to text manager script. And now, I'm going to create a new UI canvas. I'm going to go ahead and click enter. And now I'm going to create inside this canvas, I'm going to create create a new legacy text. If you want, you can use text mesh pro, but I'm just going to use text for this example. And I'm going to name it transcript. And I'm going to size it up to be 512 by 512 and 64 units up. Now if I go into the game view, it's kind of hard to see with this background. So I'm going to go ahead and, first of all, change the background from skybox to solid and change the value a little bit to something like, let's put 60, no 70. So you can see the text better. I'm just going to turn the text to straight black and change the font size to 32. Now, I'm going to get rid of the text also here, default text. And I'm going to create a new UI. This is going to be legacy button. If you guys want, you guys can use a, a text mesh pro button, but I'm just going to use a legacy button. And I'm going to call this record button. I'm going to go into the scene. I'm going to move this down somewhere about like 256 looks good. No, negative 256. Because I want to move it downwards. And its height is going to be 128 high by 512 wide. So now I'm going to go into the text inside of it and change its font size to something like 32. No, actually, let's go with 100. And I'm going to call this record. Not call it. I'm going to name the button. I'm going to make the text be recorded. And I'm going to change the font to bold. Now I'm done in here. So I'm going to go ahead and open up my speech to text manager here. I'm going to go ahead and delete the start and update functions since I won't be needing them. And we're going to delete the using system.collections and using system.collections.generic. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to write private. Actually, I'm going to write serialized field private. For those that do not know what serialized field does, it will show the value in the inspector. So I'm going to write text here. If you guys are using text mesh pro, then you guys are going to want to write text mesh pro UGUI right here, like that. But I'm just using text. So, text, I'm going to call this transcript text. And then I'm going to duplicate it and make it a button. I'm going to call this record button. Now, on awake, I'm going to. Awake is called, for those that do not know what awake does, it is called right before start is called. So, on awake, I'm going to write button. Record button, not button, record button dot on click dot add listener. And I'm going to call this record. Private void record. Now I'm going to make a private variable here. It's going to be private. It's going to be Azure speech to text. I'm going to call this speech to text. 
I'm actually going to tell the ad listener to record. So I forgot to do that earlier. I'm going to say speech text dot get component speech text equals get component speech text. I'm going to, go to add another private variable here. It's going to be private mic microphone utils right here like that microphone utils. Now I'm going to write microphone utils equals a new microphone utils at index zero for now. Actually, yeah, and X0 will work. And now I'm going to add another variable. It's going to be a private bool is recording. Now, the first thing I'm going to do in my record is I'm going to write if not is recording, then microphone utils dot record audio. No, just record. Start recording. My bad. Else, I'm going to um, write audio clip, audio clip equals microphone utils dot stop recording. Oh, that's start, not stop. Okay, stop recording like that. And now I'm going to write text to speech, no, speech to text, my bad, speech to text dot call Azure. I'm going to pass in the audio clip right here. Now I'm going to have to make this await. And what this await does is it will wait right here until this returns a value. And then we'll continue the code without freezing the application. If you guys do not have this await, and instead you guys use dot result right here, like this dot result. Right? Or something like, I have no clue what it is. Um, then it will instead freeze the application and wait until he gets the value, and we don't want that. So now, we have this though, it returns a string. So I'm gonna write equals the string transcript. Equals that, and I'm gonna write transcript text, dot text equals transcript text. Now I'm gonna write is recording, equals not is recording. This is gonna set is recording, to be the opposite of itself right now. So that was a decent amount of code right there that we just wrote. So now we got to test it out. But before we test it out, I want to show you guys something. So let's say you don't know, well, it's first of all in here, this microphone utils, this is the index, microphone index, the, the number, the index of the microphone that you want to be recording with. So let's say you don't know which microphone you want to be using. What I'm going to do is I'm going to write speech log all mic names. It will tell me all the mics that I have currently attached. I'm going to go with my toner right here, which is at index zero. You might not, your microphone that you want to be using might not be at index zero. So then you're going to have to change this number right here, this zero, to be whatever microphone, whatever number this is right here for your microphone. Now, I'm just going to go, I'm going to go ahead and add my references here. So my transcript is going to be transcript text. And my button is going to be record button. Now I'm going to press play. Now I'm going to press record. I won't be able to tell you guys what's happening whenever I do this because it's going to be recording my audio. I think the text and voice generation toolkit is really cool. Okay, there we go. I stopped it. And now I think text and voice generation toolkit is really cool. Just like that. That's how easy it is to set it up. Now you guys might want to do more with it. So go ahead. Have fun playing around with this. If you guys have any questions, you guys can leave a comment